Hi, today we are going over power and efficiency. Power is defined as the rate at which work is done. Now the rate of work being done is simply how much work is done divided by the time over which it is being done. So we have a formula P equals W over T. So we have our power equals our work over time. Our power is measured in watts our work in joules and time in seconds. So once again, our units for power are watts, or alternatively, you can use joules per second. We'll do an example. What is the power of a 60 kilogram person running up a 4.5 meter high flight of stairs in three seconds? So even though our formula is power is work over time, we in this case don't actually have our amount of work. So we'll write out what we do have. Like I mentioned, we're missing our work, we're solving for power, we're given a mass, we know our change in height is 4.5 meters, and our time is 3 seconds. We have our formula that power is equal to work over time, and from earlier in the unit, we know work is equal to a change in any type of energy. In this case, because something is increasing in height, our change in energy will be a change in gravitational potential energy. So we have work is equal to mgy. Now we can substitute mgy into our power equation because we know that that's what's equal to our work. Substitute our values in and solve for our final answer, which is 880 watts. Now, we'll briefly talk about another commonly used unit for work. Joule is a very small amount of energy, which is why often with our equations, we end up with answers that are 10 to the power of a decently large number. So, there's a larger unit that is commonly used, it's known as a kilowatt hour. If, for example, you saw your parents' electricity bill, they are billed by the kilowatt hour. Now, I'll briefly go into how to solve how many joules are in a kilowatt hour. We know work is equal to power over time, or sorry, if we rearrange our power formula, we get work is equal to power times time. So one kilowatt hour, our power would be our kilowatt, so that's a thousand joules a second, times our time, it's an hour, so that's 3,600 seconds. So one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 million joules. Next we'll talk briefly about efficiency. Efficiency we have two main equations for. One is work output over work input times 100%. So that's how many joules are coming out of something divided by how many joules are going in. And then multiplied by our 100%. It can also be written using power instead. So power output divided by power input times 100%. So an example, if 150,000 joules of electricity is used to power a kettle that raises 500 grams of water from 23 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius, what is the efficiency of the kettle? Now they've told us that 150,000 joules is used to power the kettle, so that's our work input. We don't have our work output yet, but we can calculate that. So we'll write out what we have. We have our work input, which is 150,000 joules. We have our mass, which is 0.5 kilograms. We have our change in temperature, which is 67 degrees Celsius. From our formula sheet, we know the heat capacity of water is 4,180 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. 
Now in this case, the work that is being done is increasing the temperature of the water. So therefore, our work output is going to be equal to our change in thermal energy. So therefore, our work output would be equal to our mass times heat capacity times change in temperature. So we'll calculate what that is. And that's 140,000 joules. Now efficiency is our output over our input times 100%. So we'll substitute those in. And we get that the kettle was 93% efficient. Some practice work on this stuff can be found on page 167.